Yeah, so what's happening on the October 7th, October, October 7th day. And I had to come through and show my, my October birthdays some love, man, especially today, bro. I think we got uh, the man who was in front of the Nation of Islam birthday today. Now, I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Listen. Know what you're going to say. Because you're going to say, oh, well, he messed with little kid. He did he did this mess with his secretary, this and this and that. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, we all got some shit that we have done. And that's, you know, we all know how males are. That's in their nature. They like young meat. They like young. And it's, it, listen, I'm not saying it's right. But what I am saying is that you're talking about a man that's civilized for the most part. Males. If you look at what the nation of Islam birthed, it birthed the five personas. You know what I'm saying? Not to discredit Noble Drew Ali, because Noble Drew Ali did his shit too. No cap. But you're talking about a man from Georgia, a man from South Georgia, Sandersville, Georgia. You got to give the most honorable Elijah Muhammad his props. You got to give it to him. If you don't know who he is, look him up. But if you know Farrakhan, if you know Malcolm X, then you should know Elijah. Because if it wasn't for Elijah, the man that came from Georgia, a DSGB, and that's down South Georgia, boy, which he was at one time. Then he left and went to Chicago, and that's where he, 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 he birthed the nation of Islam. So, if you know who, if you know anything about the history of the nation of Islam, if you know those men that were powerful and that still hold power to this day. Now, I'm not saying I agree with all their sentiments about LGBTQ people, none of that. I ain't saying I agree with none of that shit because I don't, because I believe in total freedom. I feel like people should be free to do whatever the fuck they want to do. So I don't agree with none of that shit, and I don't agree with you know, the slurs and all that. I'm not with all that. But the fact that that man birthed a whole nation within a nation, you got to give him his props. So happy birthday to the general, the soldier, or the nation of Islam, Elijah Muhammad, the Georgia man, the Sandersville, Georgia man, a real down South Georgia man. And I want to get, I want to get on this right here. Now, Elijah only had a third grade education at that time. But look what he built, right? His English wasn't proper. He was a southern man, right? So it just tells you that, you know, the fuckery that be put out against folk like us who speak improper English, that we can't birth nothing or we don't know nothing or we ignorant because we don't talk like you do or we don't have, we don't have the education. We ain't got the college degrees that you got. But... Let me educate you. Because degrees don't mean shit if it's not degrees of knowledge and wisdom. If you don't have 360 plus 5 degrees of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, then you have nothing. I don't give a fuck about your degrees. You can talk about how I talk, how I don't speak properly, English, be bunnies, and all that. My grandma was the wisest woman I know. Taught me everything. Didn't, didn't, didn't speak her English that great neither. She was a country soul and good, good woman. Spiritual woman. Powerful woman. Didn't know a whole lot of, of books. Didn't go to school too much. I think she had about third grade to understand. And I believe she just really read the Bible. Mainly. So that's all she needed to know. But this woman was powerful. She was a matriarch. She didn't need to have no college degrees to know what she knew. You understand? And she passed it on to her children and her grandchildren. So to me, that's the most wealth knowledge. That's the most knowledge that a person really need, bro. That's all you need. You need knowledge yourself. All this other shit is bullshit. Just to get your wealth. And sometimes fuck up your health. Uh oh. I can keep going. Don't let me start. Don't let me start. Don't let me get started. But anyway, I had to come on here and give a shout out. I think it's Tony Braxton's birthday too. Shout out to Tony Braxton. The heartbringer single. <laughs> no, but real shit though. Shouts out to Tony Braxton, man. And all the October birthday. Scorpios, you know we definitely dominating in this bitch. You know we dominating this month. 
You dig what I'm saying? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be October without the Scorpio, baby. Believe that. You understand me? And uh, to all the haters that say shit like, oh, you too full of yourself. Oh, you a narcissist. Oh, you this and you that. Man, fuck what they talking about, man. That shit is ridiculous. Those are words that are made up to make you think something is wrong with you. That's why people have low self-esteem, bro. Because you believe in not believing in yourself. Not 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 being on your patting yourself on the back. Knowing that you the shit. No matter no matter who in the room. Knowing that can't nobody fuck with you. You feel me? This is confidence that you need to have in this world because a lot of people don't love themselves. So those terms are made up to make you think something wrong with you. So anybody calling you a narcissist, they hating. Anybody calling you saying you too full of yourself, they hating. You know why? Because they don't have the same fucking confidence that you got in yourself. That's just what it is, bro. Because all these terms is made up. I don't live in no terminology. I'm just me. Now, whether you understand me or not, that's on you. I'm not here to prove nothing to nobody. Nothing. I'm just here to get the truth. That's it. And you don't like that, I, I can't help you. Ain't nothing I can do. That's just Scorpio energy. I don't know if it's Scorpio energy, but, you know, that's real nigga energy. You did what I'm saying? So, I can't help you. You gonna believe what you gonna believe. I don't believe what I believe. I don't believe in no terminology. You can't call me none of that shit. I don't. I am not none of them terms. I ain't in no box. I ain't none of that shit. I'm just me. And you can't knock me just cause you don't like it. You can't knock me, John. And I and everybody else that feel that way, keep doing what you doing. Fuck these folk. Them terms don't even exist. Real shit. When you live outside of the 3D realm, mentally. Those terms do not exist, just like LGBTQ don't exist, just like lesbian don't exist. That shit don't exist. Psychopath don't exist. These are just terms that people just want to analyze you as because you don't live on the same frequency as they do. Now, I know I might be sounding crazy to y'all, but I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. And I know how to control it. Enough not to get me fucked up, too. Because you can't go outside the boundary. Or living outside the goddamn 3D. You can. Because it'll get you fucked, cause fucked up. Because they have created 3D rules. So you still have to operate within the rules. But you ain't got to operate mentally within the rules. You did what I'm saying? Can you dig? Can you can you smell what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm putting down? Can you pick it up? You feel me? But anyway. I'm going to get off here, man. 7th day of October. 7-7. You dig 2023. So seven. Told y'all gonna come to y'all on the seventh. So anybody anyway, anybody selling a birthday today, big salute to you. Any October babies out there, big salute to you. Keep putting on, man. Doing your thing, man. Pushing your P out here. You dig what I'm saying? You know, and all them talking about ego this, ego that. Man, they just hating, bro. Do you. Cause that's the only thing you can do is do you. Be you. Regardless of what the fuck they talking about, you can't be nobody but you. Ego don't even need, that shit just really don't exist. That's how you stay alive. Everybody got fucking ego. You got to have a fucking ego to live. So it sounds retarded for somebody to try to point out your ego because they don't understand that's how you live. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have an ego. Everybody want to write and want to feel like they have a right to live and do something and, and put on. You can't build a business without having an ego. So if they got a business, they built a business, you got ego. Because you had to build that business off your ego, believing in yourself. Ego. Feel me? Anyway, like like Beyonce told y'all, I got a big ego. And she didn't apologize for it neither. Now look where it got her. And I told you she was the highest highest tourist touring artist in the world 579 million that's where the ego gets you you did what i'm saying anyway i'm on a, i don't give a fuck saturday serious star system you feel me when you don't give a fuck you reach a level of freedom that nobody can take from you so keep stepping push your peak you did salute to my birthdays october i'm gone